Who is emerging as leaders on defense so far? Well, um, for obviously, Dez is a guy that, that gives us some leadership. I've been really impressed with Jeffrey Simmons up front in, in his play and his effort and energy. And his play is, has, um, I think, brought other guys up. I've uh, been pleased with him. Uh, Gary Green's a guy that um, I think does a good job in what he needs to do. Um, John Abrams, you know, and, and for the most part, you know, all the guys have bought in. But I would really say that, you know, Dez, Abrams, Gary, and Jeffrey are guys that have really um, kind of came about and, uh, and, and been there from a leadership role. How has Montez Sweat adjusted to um, his position? I mean, you know, you know, Tez is a, you know, he's an edge guy. He's a defensive end slash outside linebacker. He can play multiple things. Uh, he plays hard. Uh, he, he's got some pass rush skills to him. He's got good length. Um, we'll continue to work and develop him and let him compete at multiple spots to, um, you know, see which 11 guys give us the best chance to win. Going back to linebackers, how active will those guys be in pass rush and where are they in learning that right now? Yeah, well, you know, obviously outside backers are going to be really active in it. Uh, from that standpoint, so guys like Tez and Marquise and Gary, Trevor, those guys are going to be, you know, rush, rush backers. Uh, the two inside guys are going to, you know, pick their spots and they're going to rush, you know, not as much as the outside guys, but, but they'll continue to rush. So I, I would think we're on par with where we need to be. Um, we're, we're continuing to still learn how to use our hands. That's the biggest thing in, in teaching college guys is, is understanding landmark, understanding the target and where you need to strike the guy, uh, and understanding your hips and your leverage and a feel on the block from the standpoint of, you know, what kind of sets he give me. Do I want to stay outside? Can I convert to power? You know, because most good rushers have the ability to not only speed rush but collapse the pocket outside in. And uh, those are the things that we work on every day, and, and the guys have bought into what we're trying to do. How is Leo doing so far in camp? Leo's done, Leo's done a good job. He's competing. He's working. Um, you know, he's a guy that, that has a lot of pride in himself and his work, and uh, certainly, you know, glad that he's, um, he's so focused. He's a guy that, that really wants to do well, and um, he, he improves every day, and uh, certainly a guy that we're going to look to, uh, you know, be a major contributor to what we're doing. What do you want to see from him between now and, the, you know, the end, of, the end of camp? Yeah, I think the biggest thing with him is become a complete player. Um, from a physicality standpoint, he's going to be a physical guy. Um, he, he, he's going to be the, the, the first guy when you go to physical drills and doing those kind of things, and he's going to be physical on the run. You know, as a linebacker, you got to be able to have a total package from a coverage standpoint and be able to understand drops and matches and, and those kind of things. And uh, those things are, are, are somewhat new to him, and uh, that's the things that we work on every day. And, uh, you know, he, he, he's really improved that area, and he has a great understanding of what he needs to do. I think it's now more about your habitual traits and understanding here are the habits based upon the technique and here's how I need to play it based upon the formation. And, and that stuff comes with repetition, so that's, that's what we'll give him throughout the rest of camp is repetitions to let him to become more of a complete player.